step is what is their leg strength. If both legs are less than a three, we're talking about the seated dependent, the slide board, the lateral swing. Now our patient has at least one leg, a three or better. So the first one we'll go over is, you can put the gate belt on yourself, we don't need to do that again. Um, <laughs> the standing pivot dependent, I always jumble up the words, but it's the standing dependent transfer is actually usually almost your more independent patient. Diagnoses would be like recently diagnosed neurological condition perhaps, um, recovering from COVID, just a lot of other general medical complications and they're just recovering, but they have sufficient strength in the legs to come up to stand. They might be right at a three and if they are, they can theoretically come up to stand, but they might have some severe balance impairments they might not be safe to do this on their own, so you have to be there with them. Usually, if you pull this one on the practical, your friends aren't like falling on you and stuff. So, usually, this is one of the ones where the brain turns off and like bed mobility things go weird because you're like, oh, this transfer is easy. So, literally, all you're doing is helping them come up to stand and turning with them and sitting down. So, patient, I'm gonna stand here. Um, you actually don't even need to have that down because you are able to push up with your arms. I'm going to help you come up the stand. My legs are guarding. And then I am just turning with my patient. And you sit down. Easy peasy, right? <laughs> right? You'll be surprised how many people just make silly mistakes because they're like, oh, I got the easy one. So mm -hmm. don't be that person. Yeah, Vivian. Um, and then come on back to the chair. So now we're going to talk about the standing assisted like pivot transfer. Um, this one is one leg is significantly affected compared to the other side. So that could be a stroke patient. That could be a total knee. 